Hello, folks. It's Tuesday. I'm Terry Time. It is 13 degrees here in Texas. So I didn't go get my hair done because people cannot drive in Texas when there's ice. And half the cars don't start. So you're just going to have to look at my hair like it is. Hopefully next Tuesday I'm going to get my hair and my nails done. I, the lady that adopted Pistol, Amanda, got a hold of me. She loves him. He's doing wonderful. She promised some pictures. Hyena, you want to bless? Hyena, good girl. Blessings. Blessings for everyone. Blessings for everyone. And I was just in Shug's chat, and he is still my favorite person to watch and my favorite chat to be in. It's marvelous in there. Marvelous. Uh, Hyena is wanting to give blessings today for some reason. Some days she does, and some days she doesn't. And Shug, I would love to have you have one of my wonderful puppies. I would absolutely love it. I'm getting out of it, but I do have a couple females that can still have puppies. In fact, Pistol was actually, I'm going to tell you the story of Pistol. Pistol was born here. I have his mother. His mother is Reese, a poodle, and his poppy was this little guy right here, Picasso, a Pekingese. This was Pistol's daddy. This is Picasso, and this is Hyena. Well, the night that Pistol was born. He was an only puppy. He was the mother was laying in the bed with me, and I was on the phone with Kevin number seven when he was born. And Kevin said, "Oh, keep that puppy, so you'll have him when I get out of prison, and and he'll be my dog." And Kevin's the one that named him Pistol, so he was Kevin's dog. Well, Kevin and me never worked out, but I still had Pistol here. And it really wasn't fair to him because he was a young dog. He got on the old dog's nerves, like Hyena, for instance. And I didn't have any young dogs for him to play with. And since I'm trying to get out of the business, and he was a year old in October, and that's when I quit talking to Kevin. So, you know, he was just here. And he was getting on everybody's nerves. He was real, real rambunctious, but he was real smart. So I put him on this page that my daughter told me about. And it's not really hooked up with the Humane Society. It's a separate thing. And I had him on there, and everybody that called me, I didn't really trust them because I don't know if you people are aware of this, but if you give a dog away or rehome it, the chances of it going to somebody that has pit bulls, they'll use them for bait dogs. So I was very, very selective and very careful about who I talked to about that dog because he could have stayed here the rest of his life. But it wasn't fair to him because he just, he needed to be an only dog with a family that had lots of time and attention to spend with him without a bunch of old dogs around getting mad at him. So finally, this, this Jessica called me and I'd almost decided on her, but she lived away in Wachahatchee, and I'm not driving that far. She didn't have any money for gas. She didn't have a car, blah, blah, blah. She sounded kind of sketchy. So then this Amanda woman called me out of the blue, and I loved her instantly. And you could see by the smile on her face, she loves that dog. So I'm sure Pistol wound up getting a wonderful home. And I'm happy for him, but it was still sad because I'd had him since he was born, and he was a year old in October. And then I had the memory of Kevin. You know, Kevin was on the phone with me when he was born. I sent him pictures of his newborn pictures, and he'd always say, how's my dog Pistol doing? So he had a memory with him, a sad memory, and he wasn't getting the kind of home he needed. Because Hyena may act very sweet to you people. But she does not get along with other dogs at all. She's a thug. In fact, she's more of a thug than pull stick. She is a real thug. And she keeps this pack of dogs under control at all times. And she couldn't bear Presley. Could you, lady? I'm trying to get me to shut up. And we were so excited about Trump winning the Iowa caucus. And then my bills won again. 
oh my God, if it would be them and the Cowboys in the Super Bowl and they could beat the Cowboys, I could I could die tomorrow and I would be happy. After all the pain and humiliation I suffered when those stupid Bills lost them four Super Bowls in a row. And I just want to hit on the MRE stuff. There is no proof whatsoever that he did anything to that child. That was an incident report, people. And I can make an incident report right now. And like I said, I've been through six divorces. I know how spiteful and bitchy ex-women can get. I told you what happened to my number five. He did five years over some bullshit that was just like that. Only the girl was 12. All made up. So you could ruin somebody's life. So people need to shut up. Unless they have the proof. And the only one I've heard talking with any sense is Chicago Muscle. Because that thing that Casparosa put up was not anything but a police report. That's all it was. There was no proof whatsoever that anybody ever talked to him. And let me tell you something. I don't give a shit if MRE's a snitch or not. You can't snitch your way out of child molestation and stuff. You can't snitch your way out of that. That's one thing you can't snitch out of. So unless you're very, very sure of what you're talking about, you all need to keep your mind shut up. And I don't have any love for MRE. Well, I kind of love him as Rustin, but I never liked him as MRE. He's much funnier in the Dirty Verse. And I love Chug's chat. I love it more. Every time I'm in there, everybody gets along, even pizza. Even though pizza's mad at me right now, I'm in pizza jail, folks. I'm not in the homicidal, suicidal. I'm just in the regular pizza place. But I really don't know anybody in there. He wouldn't let Sharon come in there with me. He told me, he told Sharon that she would have to send him a postcard. He also informed me that Sharon and Joey Dimes are twins. So, if Joey hooks up with me, we could, well, I'm Joey's cousin, according to pizza. And Sharon is his twin sister. We could really have some fun, incest fun, like you wouldn't believe. Joey, this really pisses Pizza off. I love you, Carlos. Love you, Rolex. Stand up guy. Hand of Doom, thank you so much for the cash app. You didn't tell me if you wanted me to give it to the animals or the prisoners, so I'm going to give it to the animals because the prisoners had their Christmas thing. I already posted the receipt, but I am going to continue to give them money. So if Paul finds anybody that he thinks deserves it, he can see that they get it because they'll be having another meal for Valentine's, I think. And I'm getting a wonderful card from him, and I can't wait to get it. So the story of Pistol, that's the story of Little Pistol. And I'm so glad I heard from that Amanda, because he is doing great. And now I want to touch on the Argo Cafe. Why he is making excuses for that Nazi emblem is beyond me. I wouldn't. I don't make excuses for none of my tattoos. I got them. I'm proud of them. I wear them. If you people don't like them, fuck you. This is my Trump. I'm not going to show you all of them, but I got a bunch. These are my Pekingese. He shouldn't have to explain anything about that. Anything. And all you big shots talking about, you know what goes on in prison. Well, I know one person that doesn't. He was a punk. I'm not going to mention his name. But we all know who he is. He was a pure punk. I've been married to four people that have been in prison. And I've talked to several prisoners. I love one prisoner right now. Paul, if you're watching this, I love you. So, give Argo a break. The Nazi shit is stupid, and the remark that he made about the service man is even smarter. He, that was very smart to say, because if anybody joins the army nowadays, they are idiots. Because let me tell you people something that you don't seem to be aware of. Even the smartest person in the world, Stone Sailor, doesn't even know this. I sell puppies to people in all walks of life. Lawyers, judges, surgeons, army guys. Well, I sold two puppies to a Pentagon lady that worked in the Pentagon for the army. And we talked every Sunday for years, for years and years. 
And she told me she finally retired. She did come to San Antonio. We met in person. She went to Fort Hood or whatever that station is down there. And we met. And then she went back to Poughkeepsie, where she was from. She had went to West Point. And she told me that the people that they're getting in the Army now, and I figure the Navy and the, I don't know if the Marines are, but I'm sure the Navy is the same way, that most of the people they get don't want to join. There's a judge. And I don't know if you're aware of this, everybody that runs their mouths, but when you get convicted of something now, the judge will say, do you want to go to jail or do you want to go in the armed services? And 90% of them prisoners will say they want to go in the armed services. And she said the quality of the people that they're getting is ridiculous because they're this coming there because they don't want to go to jail. So that is the facts. If you don't believe me, look it up. This came from a lady that worked in the Pentagon for over 40 years. She retired from the Pentagon. I didn't even know this existed until she told me. But then when I started talking to the prisoners, they said, oh yeah, them judges will say, you got a choice. Much like they tell the prisoners, you got a choice. Rehab or this, this or this, this or that. Well, most prisoners will go ahead and do the probation or whatever the fuck it is. It never works. And the parole and all that. Very few of them will say, well, I'll just set it out. Well, I even went with a guy from Arizona, and he said in Arizona you can't even set your sentence out. That they let you out when you have 85% of it done, and you have to do parole, and you have to do probation, and the halfway houses and the rehabs are all run by ex-cons that were dope addicts, and the best dope they ever got in their life came from a rehab, and Nancy even told me that. So you people don't know what you're talking about. Did you realize that the judges were giving all these people a choice? Join the armed forces, forces or you're going to do jail time. Jan told me she was so sick of interviewing these jail people that just came in there just to get out of doing prison time. They didn't care a shit about the country. Half of these stupid wars, starting with Vietnam, that I had two cousins and a husband in. My father was in World War II, so don't talk to me about being patriotic and going to wars. If they don't make these prisoners go in there, they wouldn't have enough people to even have in the armed service unless they're going to be officers or something where they don't have to fight, where they can just stay in an office somewhere and tell other people what to do. The real foot soldiers and stuff, they're not going to get no people volunteering for that shit because they're patriots. Are you kidding me? Them Afghani people been fighting for millions of years. The Russians couldn't beat them. What in the world makes you think the United States can go in there and do anything when they can't They can't shoot to kill, and they got to be woke, and they can't shoot women, and they can't shoot kids? Do you realize that in Vietnam? My ex-husband told me these little kids would come right up to him and throw a grenade at him like it wasn't nothing, a six-year-old kid. So go ahead, run your mouths about Argo. I don't like Argo or not like him. I've never had nothing to do with him. I've never spoke to him. But him making excuses for that tattoo is ridiculous. And then just because MRE has one, it's a whole different thing. It's one or the other. And who the fuck cares if you got a tattoo, be proud of it. Don't be making excuses for it. I don't ever make excuses for my Trump tattoo. I'm a Trump girl, and I'm so glad he won them Iowa caucus. And I'm so glad that my bills won. There's nothing any of you little fucking idiots can do today to put me in a bad mood. Nothing. And I'm happy that Joey Dimes and Sharon are twins. Make it a lot better. We're all related to each other. Wow. That's going to be wonderful. Of course, I have to put my Trump hat on. Since Trump won big in Iowa, DeSantis came in second. That phony, baloney Democrat, Haley, come in third. And the smartest one out of all of them come in fourth. And I can't even pronounce his name. It's an Indian-sounding name. But he's very smart. And I hope that if Trump doesn't pick Tucker Carlson to be his VP, he'll pick the third guy however you pronounce his name, and or DeSantis. He don't need to pick that woman for no reason. She's, she needs to be in the bottom feeders because she's about as ignorant as they are.
And they are bottom feeders. And I don't appreciate you using my name to call MRE one. MRE is far from a bottom feeder. You you don't even have the bottom feeders now. Your chat's looking pretty pathetic to me. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And the rest of the bottom feeders are calling cops. Calling cops on JY. JY's calling cops on them. Then they're writing CPS reports. And then they're calling CPS. All of them. All of them. There's not one bottom feeder woman that's better than the next. They're all the same. They're all in the same slush bucket together. I don't even watch them because they're sickening. And I don't have to watch them because every time I watch them, they're making excuses. Well, then I, you did it first. and you did. Let me tell you something. Maria posted my granddaughters for no fucking reason whatsoever. And I did not retaliate. That shows that I have a better moral character than any of them. Because most of them have done stuff. Not many of them have posted my family. Maria's the only one that did that. But I didn't do it. Do something to her just to get even. Because I'm better than they are. I'm better than any of them. Any of them. And many. I, tr I started to work on your goddamn other picture today. To put your two pictures side by side. So you couldn't say that was your mother. But I got... Stand-up guy came on, and I didn't want to miss his live, but I will work on it tomorrow, and I'm going to post both the pictures side by side. I'm going to put the lawsuit in there, but I'm going to black your partner's name out so nobody will know who your partner is, but I know who it is. I know who she is. Let me put it that way. And I will never, ever, ever forget or forgive you for that purse because you're a lying backstabber, and I'll never forget it. And I just wanted to mention this shit about the army because such a know-it-all. And he was a guard, too, and he must know everything about prisons. But I don't think he knows anything about anything. He needs to be with the women because he's about as up on shit as they are. The judges say, do you want to join the armed services or do you want to do jail time? And 90% of them say, oh, yeah, we'll join the armed services because Jan told me they did. And she worked at the Pentagon. And she retired from there. And she told me what was going on and what caliber of people they were getting. And believe you me, the best caliber ones don't ever touch the fighting range. They're in an office somewhere. I will be having my nails done, but they still look beautiful. My hair don't look too bad. I look pretty rough in that dog adoption thing, but I was crying all the way there. Cried all the way home. I'm not crying today because I talked to the woman. But I do want to see pictures of Pistol. But he was born right here with me. He lived his whole life with me. It was a wonderful dog. But I would have never kept him because I don't keep any of my puppies. And all, most of my females are spayed. I'm getting out of it. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't have the patience for the people. I just want to keep what I have. My little bunch that I have. And they can live here with me till they don't live. A lot of them are in hospice stage. All of them are old. That's why Pistol didn't belong here with this bunch of old dogs. I do have one little young female called Harper Valley. And stand up guy, if you're serious about wanting a puppy, let me know. Because that poodle that had Pistol, Pistol's mom, she'll probably be coming in heat again and I'll breed her to a little Picasso. And there'll be another puppy. It'll probably look kind of like Pistol. Maybe not. Might look more Pekingese than Pistol did. Pistol had that little undershot jaw. He had a little more poodle-ish look. You never know how them Peekapoos are going to turn out. You just have to wait till they're born. And white trash people, I love you. Trailer trash. Hillbillies. Rednecks. Trump. 2024. I love all you people. You're my people. You're welcome in my chat. My chat is a free speech. Absolutely free speech. No trigger warnings. No race cards. If you've got a race card, hit the door. We don't do that in here. We don't have any woke. There's no snowflake. Treading lightly among the snowflakes. It's not going to happen in here. You better be ready to take it if you come in here. As long as you're respectful to each other, you can come in here and hang out. Listen to some... Truth, truth, and I'm telling you right now, if you're looking for a good bottom feeder, you will not find one, because there aren't any. I've been around that bunch for four years. There are no good ones. 
and get off MRE's back because you don't have a clue if he did anything to that kid. Nothing. I have a feeling it was a mother that did all the bitching because uh, cops don't make deals with child molesters. Take it from me. That doesn't happen. It's not like dope dealers and stuff. You can make a deal with them. You can't make a deal with it. So if he had done anything to that kid, he wouldn't have been able to snitch his way out of it. He wouldn't have been able to talk his way out of it. So keep running your mouths about something you have no proof of. I am uh, very proud of Chicago for not going down that route. And besides, Chicago and me got a little backtrack truce going on, and he's kept it, and I've kept it. So I know I can trust him. That's all I need to know about anybody. I don't have to be friends with them to trust them. And FBS, you're an idiot. You're an idiot if you're comparing Trump with Clinton going to Pedo Island. Clinton went over 50 times, and that was one way, not two way. Trump met Epstein twice and banned him from his place. So quit trying to talk politics when you don't know anything about anything. You're a sack whore. Exactly what I said you were. You're a sack whore. You never sold drugs in your life. Never. I've been around drug dealers, and none of them acted like you. You act like a straight-up Bagging sack whore. And that's the only reason you don't like pizza. Because he gets money. Well, guess what? It's people giving him money and it's none of your business. I don't like him because of the way he treats Leon. But that is nothing you can do anything about either. Because if any of you fools try to go get that dog from him, you're going to wind up in prison. And he won't have to call the cops. You cannot touch that dog. It's not starving. Doesn't have any broken bones. So you, FBS... The biggest beggar I have ever seen on this internet, and I've seen them all. You were the biggest and the dumbest to compare Trump with Clinton and that Epstein shit. Why don't you look shit up before you run your fucking mouth? In fact, I don't know who is ignorant enough to even listen to you. You're a joke. You're worse than anybody on here. Anybody. You're worse than the bottom feeders. And believe me, you're the bottom of the bottom feeders. Your mother is getting well. I'm sure it's because of hyena because you don't even act like an atheist. I ain't, what are you bitching about a Nazi tattoo? You got Jesus Christ on your body and you're a fucking atheist. Why don't you do something about that? Why don't you cover that up? You fraud, you phony, you joke, you sack whore. Now, I got that out. Don't compare Trump with them stupid Democratic pedos that went over there. Dursa witch. All them high up Democrats over there on that pedo island. Hillary. Oprah. All the woke jokes. Don't even dare to put Trump in there, you ignorant piece of shit. You begging piece of shit. I don't know how anybody can follow that joke unless you're all as ignorant as he is. Tuesday with Terry time. Call the fucking cops. Because I do snap every fucking day. And I wish everybody did because then they could talk and put a sentence together. And they wouldn't have to play music and have 25 people on their panel and go over and over the same shit every fucking day. They could put a sentence together. So, I'm off of here for now. Hopefully, next Tuesday, I'll be looking fine because I'll be able to get to the beauty shop. Because, hopefully, this weather, it's supposed to get down to 10 tonight. And then Thursday, it's supposed to be normal Texas weather again. I am so glad I'm living in Texas because this, this place is getting ridiculous with all these immigration things. But I'm glad they're sending everybody north. You sanctuary cities. You wanted them. You got them. Thanks to my wonderful governor, Greg Abbott. How many of you know the governors of your states? We ought to do a little test. I know them damn bottom feeders don't know nothing. They don't even know geography. They don't even know if they're going north or south or where the states are, let alone who the governors are. I know the capital of every state in the United States. Every single one. So, Scooter Beggins, I love you're getting what you're getting. Ooh, I love it. This is Dirty Verse News. Fish people, I love watching your channels. Brian Barcheck, rest in peace.
I can't barely stand to watch that channel. I want to try. I want to stay true to the channel. But without Brian Barczyk, it's just really not the same. Pistol's doing great. Hopefully, I'll get some pictures. I'm supposed to be getting a wonderful card from Paul. When I do, I'll show it. And Paul, if you watch this, love you. Think about you all the time. So, Suge, another great show. I want his link in my chat all the time. Joey, your twin sister and me are best friends. I'm so happy to find out you're twins with her and that we're cousins. I couldn't be happier. I could not be happier. Carlos, hand of doom. Thanks again for the cash app. You didn't tell me where you wanted it to go, so I'm going to put it in the Animal Defense League of Texas. FBS, shut your fucking mouth. I don't want to get no more goddamn clips of you. I don't watch you. I haven't been in there in ages. Somebody sent me a damn clip of you running your yap off about Trump. Running your yap off about... You ain't no judge of nothing. You're a judge of nothing. You're the biggest beggar there ever was. And you're just mad because pizza gets some money and you don't. And I hope it continues. Ciao. Hello, folks.